President Obama said this morning his administration has told Congress for some time that a Guantanamo prisoner transfer was possible. Members from both parties are criticizing the White House for not telling lawmakers ahead of time about the deal to free Sergeant Bergdahl. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill where a powerful Senate committee gets a secret briefing on the case today. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. We are starting to hear from the first Democrats that they too believe that Congress should have gotten advance notice that this prisoner swap was going to take place. California Senator Dianne Feinstein, the chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, told us, quote, should we have gotten advance warning? I actually think so, because we had participated in a number of briefings some time ago on this issue, and there was considerable concern that a swap of this nature would give terrorists incentive to take Americans high. Hostage. And there's something else that is angering Republicans in particular, and that is the administration's argument that it had to act so fast because Bergdahl's health was at risk. Well, Republicans say there's no evidence that Bergdahl had an acute health problem, and they argue that the president simply broke the law by not giving Congress 30 days' notice that he was removing prisoners from Guantanamo Bay. So they are calling for hearings on the House side. Now, last night, Hillary Clinton came to the president's defense. She was asked about this issue at a forum in Denver, and here's what she had to say. This young man, whatever the circumstances, was an American citizen. The idea that you care for your own citizens, and particularly those in uniform, I think is a very noble one. Charlie? Nancy, thanks.